welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Gemini Lion Gate, port 888. My name is Jenna, welcome. If you're new here, all I ask is press on that subscribe button. I would be much appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Um, welcome, this is a channel where I do tarot cards. I do it by divination. Okay, I get messages from your guys to my guys. Okay, when I say your guys, I mean your angels, ascending masters, spirit animals, um, ancestors to mine, okay? I'm a beacon of light for them to come on through, which I'm, you watching this is giving me permission, okay? I don't need you to subscribe to the button either to get your energy. I just need you to just watch me. Okay, but it would be much appreciative if you can, because it does help the channel grow. Um, again, um, thank you for everyone that has been supporting me. Thank you to my friend. I don't know if she wants me to mention her, but I saw that you subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm just happy for people that do support me and support what I'm doing. It makes me feel very blessed. Um, thank you for the support. Okay. These are general messages, okay? These are messages for, you know, entertainment purposes with some guidance, of course, just depending what message is yours, okay? These are general messages. So take what only, this is how I do this, okay? Anyone new here, anyone new to watching YouTube or tarot cards on, you, on YouTube is not of the devil, okay? I have God in my heart, okay? Nothing but the prayer tent. Let me clear my throat chakra so I can speak the truth when I see the cards. My crown chakra so I could protect my energy and get these messages in and my root chakra so I could keep grounded while I'm doing these readings okay cleanse my cards my platform from any heavy projection any word curses any black magic anything that could affect this reading you know Archangel Michael I do ask you to do the same um, if anyone is doing that towards me the collective and our families, I ask you to send back to sender times 10. Got some sage or some root chakra roses. Those are cool actually. They put like a color rose for each one for the chakras. So get some chakra healing. So again, um, only take what, okay, so what sounds familiar, feels familiar, situation events are familiar to you, take those messages. The rest leave for someone else. Like I might say the color blue, you might have blue eyes, but the collective next or watching or whatever has blue hair or has a blue car. Does that make sense? Okay, not every message is gonna be your message. Not every reading is going to be your reading. Look at the titles that will help you out as well. Okay. Some cinnamon to warn off evil. Okay, being the collective, my collective, I do expect and I do trust you to use your intu intu intuition. Okay? Please keep in mind, energy can be past, present, and future. Alright? This can either be about you or indirectly, directly involved with you, just depending who's in your energy and who's up in their energy, who's all up in your energy, who's all up in your business, okay? Um, all right, Spirit, I'm ready for you. Hope everyone's having a good day, a good whatever, it, whatever, whatever time it is, where you're at. These are timeless readings. Keep that in mind as well. Timeless readings means... You know, even though if I'm this is being filmed just December, it doesn't matter. You can watch this in the summertime and it's your reading. You're in the right place 
right time. Okay, there is no coincidence. So like I meditate by, um, so I listen to a, like a, you know, when I'm sleeping, I listen to like, you know, the word of, you know, the gospel, because I've been trying to learn a lot about the Bible. Um, and no, I'm not religion and I'm not spiritual. I don't know what I am. I'm just Jenna. Okay. I have a little bit. I like just learning about, I don't know, everybody's culture, everyone's religion. I think it's good to have, um, that knowledge, spiritual knowledge and religious religion knowledge of all. As long as you love God, it doesn't matter what you believe in. Um, you know, as long as you have God in your heart. Um, anyways, but, um, you know, it's talking about healing and I woke up and it was like, you know, I've seen my mom, she had cancer for when I was younger. She got cancer when I was 12 and up till I was like 18, she had cancer. And that's when I met a Kunandetta, you know, well, I met a Kunandetta when I was younger, Kunandettas and Kunandettas, but it wasn't until I was 16. And when my mom had a tumor on her adrenal gland where I met a Kunandetta and she told me that this was my life purpose was to become a healer. And, you know, she told me to the first time I met her, she's like, we're going to heal your mother. And we started praying and people forget the power of prayer. How like my mom only had like six months to live and she's still living. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, you know, I mean, she's just even working. She had a blood clot. Anyways, you want to talk about a woman that prays is my mother. She prays, prays, prays every night, you know? And, um, the power of prayer, how much it will heal you, how much it will heal, you know, I've even healed myself just by praying. You know, I was once, you know, had sicknesses and, you know, nothing serious, but, um, you know, I cured myself and, um, obviously with medication as well too, you know, you got to keep that in mind. You got to do treatments as well, you know. I was like, I was like, if I was, um, working as like a medicine woman right now, I always tell my, I, if I would tell my clients is, please, you know, go to the doctor. I would be working with the doctor. The Kunandetta that my mom saw when I was 16, she actually worked at the cancer center in Texas. So she was very educated, very smart. Um, you know, she was like, what, uh, she inspired me. It was like what I would want to look like if I was a healer, you know? When I was little, I saw some weird, like, I'm not gonna lie, as there was a Kunandetta, it was kind of like, she scared the crap out of me. <laughs> she was like, whoo, she I was like, she's kind of a little witchy, but uh, she was older, you know, she um, spoke Spanish. I couldn't, you know, out here I was, I was a little girl praying in Spanish, and I could barely even pray in English. I was like, what? Um, but, uh, Anyways, yeah, I know, but the when my, the queen and dad that I met when I was 16, my mom, she was like, you know, like very educated, very smart woman, but she was a prayer woman, you know, she prayed and she was very Catholic, she was Catholic as well. And that's when she, you know, she told me, and she also told me, she goes, you will be a medicine woman. She's like, but you will have a hard life. And she called it, she called it collective. She said, you will have a hard life. And I was like, hmm. I wish I would have listened then, right? Anyways, just remember the power of healing when it comes to God. I mean, look at, he sent his son here and, you know, it talks in the Bible, like where you could touch Jesus's garments his, and people will get well, but people forget that miracles come in. Like we need to remember, okay, like say if you had cancer, okay, and you're fighting cancer or something, okay, God miracle, God will they'll heal you in like certain ways. Like think about the breath, the air that we're breathing right now. That is a miracle, okay. That is a miracle. Us sitting here, you listening to me, me talking to you. That is us breathing in and out. That is a miracle itself, and that's what people need to remember when it comes to healing healing yourself, the power of healing is, is the little miracles, the little things, you know? Um, and then I witnessed big miracles, you know, be fearless and bold with the badger spirit. 
Boo, you might be a life path number four. Life paths number four tend to the small things. They're very ambitious, but they're ambitious in a, in a different way. It's like um, the Knight of Pentacle energy, like slow and steady, you know? Like life paths number eights are like ambitious, powerful. It's like you think small, but it ends up accumulating into something big. One, two, three, four, twelve, four. Someone could be born on December 4th. But I'm seeing, look at one, two, and then one, two, three, right? Three, and then four. So look, moving forward. Be fearless and bold. Sing your own song. You might play the flute, or you might have played in a band in high school. Like, you know, a marching band or something, or like a band in school, in high school, I'm getting that. The, yeah, like a canary, a yellow canary singing. I come from a miner's town, and a canary also, someone could be, I don't know why I'm getting this, be, be fearless and bold, sing your own song. I feel like someone could be blowing the whistle, which isn't, because the, like I said, I come from a miner's town, so... The canaries were used in mines because, you know, to warn miners, you know, if there was, uh, what is it? Well, if there was, like, no air down there, right? Because they would die. They would put a canary in a cage, you know, or some type of gases, right? So be fearless on bulls. Sing your own song. Someone might be being asked, being told to to do the right thing here. Again, someone could be born on um, December 4th, or someone could be born on April 12th. Take it how it resonates. Remember, this is either about you or someone indirectly, directly involved with you, depending on these readings, okay? And then you got an otter spirit. Oh, someone might be a born in February, an Aquarius. Two Aquariuses. There's two little otters here. You are, you're never alone. Oh, making a little heart. Oh, loving each other. Otters are very playful. So when I say it, why I say an Aquarius, because, um, what you call it? What's the number here? 42. Someone could be born in February 4th. Or February 4th. February 12th? That's Valentine's Day, right? No, I don't know. February 12th? Um, no, 14th, Jenna. Uh... A lot of fours out here, though. Because, look, you got life half number. You got four, okay? One, or two, three, or two and two, four. You put these together. Two and two, there's four right there. Five. Anyways... Someone's definitely life path number four. And the reason, so if you look up your zodiac signs, uh, Native American zodiac signs, my kids, oh, when I was teaching, they used to love it. They're like, Miss Jane, tell me what the zodiac, what would my um, Native American zodiac sign was? And it's an otter is an Aquarius. Um, they're very playful. They like to be youthful for life, okay? Um, they're your humanitarians. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're very loyal. Sometimes they're, you know, maybe loyal to the wrong things in the wrong situations because they have that humanitarian in them, you know. They give their all in things, I think, at some times where it's, like, detrimental to themselves. But that's what I love about Aquariuses. The Gemini and Aquariuses get along. We're both air signs. Um, Aquarius is more fixed, you know. It's like Aquarius is, like, a flirty or... They get each other. They're both quirky, you know. Um, Libras, too. Libras are, like, informational. They like Geminis as well, but they might think Geminis talk, talk too much. <laughs> but they like the information that Geminis say. There might be maybe a lot of air signs here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I got... Let me see here. Camera's light is blaming me. So I got four... 12, someone could be 42, 24, and 4, 
D2. I saw the dice, I forgot. My son is watching, it's called The Star. It's about, it's a cute little movie about the um, donkey that, you know, takes um, Mary to, um, you know, the, to Bethlehem. Again, four, look, four right here, two plus two, four. You are protected right now because 444 four, four talks about your angels are out because they're activated. Your ancestors are out because something's being activated. Maybe, again, someone's being healed right now from a situation. I never get hot in here. <laughs> like, never. I'm gonna close my door. Open that. Def okay, so be fearless and bold. Sing your own song. You're never alone. Someone. I feel like it's doing the right thing. They're being pushed to do the right thing. They're being protected too. I don't know why I'm hearing like witness protection. It doesn't have to be, that's not for all you guys. They're being protected though to tell, yeah, cause I mean, so four, five, the fifth house talks about what you do for pleasure. Five, six, seven, your relationship. But someone is in their ego, or they're lacking the direction, or they did, or you did. Because the, the, the red being in, um, the dice being one, the first house means is like, not being authentic, not being true who you are, you know, your individuality. Three, communications, talking, but protected, because someone was doing something for fun, but they were in their ego when they were doing this, perhaps. You could have been in a relationship with this person. Embrace in between, take a leap of faith. You could be 26, 24, 30, perhaps that could be significant, or someone could be born on the 4th, the 12th, the 24th, the 26th, but you got the flamingo spirit and the grasshopper spirit. Take it, okay, so you're embracing the in-between and taking the leap of faith. Someone's being, be fearless and bold. Sing your own song. You are never alone. Embrace the in-between. Take a leap of faith. I feel like someone's doing the right thing here. You can be young and beautiful, very attractive, or someone involved, or whatever the situation is going to be right now. I'm not really knowing exactly. I got to get a lot more. Grasshopper spirit. This always reminds me of like someone's grandfather. Could have been like tall or maybe like a great uncle or something. This person is telling you to take a leap of faith. I feel like it's like scary. Be fearless and bold. It's like an anxious feeling. Like what's going to happen next, right? Embracing between like what's going to happen if I do this or whatever this is. I feel like someone's going to be blowing the whistle. I don't know that. Let spirit be your guide. The hawk spirit with a canary. And the flamingo, I always think of the birds in these decks as like being angels or archangels. Like the flamingo gives off that, what's her name? That arc, that archangel um, of grace. The moon, you know, she represents the moon. Hemel, Hemel. Her, um, the hawk could be actually an angel, like that, you know, one of your family members have passed over. This canary spirit is like, maybe you had a minor in your family. A giraffe spirit, see the big picture? This is a spirit animal for sure, if you like giraffes. 29, give me one more spirit. Little pig spirit, use your mind wisely. You have my, someone might have the zodiac, zodiac of a pig, 
That's the Chinese zodiac, right? You like, you might like to dress up, you know, with the flamingo and the pig. It's like, you got wings here though, girl. You might look really pretty in pink, actually. 47, 74 could be significant. Use your mind wisely. So be fearless and bold. Sing your own song. You're never alone. Embrace the in-between. Take a leap of faith. Let spirit be your guide. See the big picture and use your mind wisely. I feel like someone is being pushed or it's like this feeling of what's... They know, they, they know what they have to do to say that. It's like, let's see here, 26, 30, 32, 29, 47. So one, two, three. Again, I got four right here. Three plus one, that's four. There's four right there, there's four right there. Four right there, four right there, four right there. So one, two, three, four. And then well if I go three plus two plus five. Well no, two plus two, that's four. That's another four right there. The last remaining is three. So I got, yeah, that's a lot of four. Someone's a life path number four, for sure. April, April 22nd, April 26th, April 20th, April 29th, April 27th, maybe April 2nd, April 6th, April 9th, April uh, 7th. I'm also seeing February, we're talking about Aquarius, is February 7th, February 9th, February 2nd, February 6th, February 4th. Here's four right here. Two plus two is four. Six minus two is four. And then nine minus seven, four, five, six, seven, it's two. The only one that's really odd about odd is a five here. Which I got five right there too. So there's like conflict and change. Man, there's a lot of fours. Let's go to page 445. I think I've read this before though. I don't know why my son's all excited about or getting all crazy with the movie with that movie. I just opened it and it's 454. The second apostle of John, the elderly unto the elect lady on her children, whom I love in truth. Well, sorry, I thought I saw something move. I was like, what is that? The elderly unto the elder, elect, okay. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth. I'm not, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. For the truth sake which dwelt in us and shall be with us forever see i told you there's something about the truth out here someone is speaking the truth now someone's blowing the whistle i hate using that term but grace grace i told you it's um god of grace okay so grace three grace be with you mercy and peace from god the father and from the lord jesus christ the Son of the Father in the truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found the children walking in truth, as we have received of the commandments from the Father. And now I reach thee, Lady, not as I thought I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, and that we love one another. And this is love, and that we walked after his commandments. This is the commandments that I have heard from the beginning, and we shall walk in them. For many... Um, deceivers and enter into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the, the antichrist. Look to yourself that we lose not those things which we have wrote, but that we receive a full reward. Someone speaking the truth. 
Someone is speaking the truth about something. Ah, because there was someone that was deceiving. Maybe this person was a deceiver before. Oh, crap. I just got on my dress a lot. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look at yourself and we lose not those things which have wrote, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresses um, and abide not in the, the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abide in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both of the Father of the Son. If there come on unto you and bring not to the doctrine, receive him uh, not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For that bid him God speed is partaker of the evil deeds. It's like you, if you're with someone, if you know about a lie, okay? Because you remember Moses, you know, went and got the commandments because and came back because people were acting out of hand came back all old you know went and age for all of us to get the commandments we have to you know we have these rules that we need it's like thou shalt not like hurt my neighbor thou shalt speak the truth it's called integrity so it's like if there is a for if there's like i feel like this is like someone Hasn't been walking in a truth. Hasn't been speaking of truth. And who that speaks of a lie and who lies is of a deceiver of end of antichrist energy. Which, if this is going to be coming up in this reading, I ask in the name of God, do not, no, no, we don't want no antichrist deceivers, liars in this, in this reading. Unless it is for us to see the truth, show the light of this person. Which I think this person now has to speak the truth with this canary spirit. Has no choice. Because they got to embrace this. They were in between, in between, in between doing something. Taking a leap of faith. Let spirit be your guide. Because this person needs to see the bigger picture. This person is seeing the bigger picture. And something about they now have to use their mind wisely. It's this feeling of being caught up. It's a feeling of, oh shit, I, I, my lie? I have to tell the truth now? If you, if anyone, if, if there come on any onto you, okay, wait. Having many things to write onto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come onto you and speak face to face. Yep, that our joy may be full. The children of the elected sister greet thee. Amen. From many deceivers, there's someone that deceives somebody here. Grace, some man behind me, be grace. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God and Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, and the truth and love. The all of on beloved guys when we love truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that may mayest prosper in the health of and, and be in health, even as the soul prospereth. I, for I rejoiced great, greatly with the brethren, came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even thou walk is in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Be loved, thou dumb, faithful, was thou... Does brethren and strangers, which we have borne witness of the charity before the church, whom thou bring for a word of journey after godly source, shall do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we might follow the helpers of the truth. The truth keeps coming out here. The word truth. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He doubt not the God, but... The doubt, the evil have not seen God. Demetrius hath God report of all men and the truth itself. Ye also bear records and ye know that our records is true. Someone could have done something. I don't know, I'm getting this too. Someone could have done something on record and it wasn't true. And now this is coming on. This is like something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get into this.
This keeps coming out in my readings. Aquarius, again, doesn't going to be in critical condition because I'm putting it right here. In Aquarius, you're never alone. Something, a situation or something is a critical condition. Y2K, because someone was being a puto, a puta, being lustful, okay? Doing Y2K. Y2K reminds me, you know, shutting something out with technology. I'm going to put these back because I feel like I didn't... I shuffle these. Why are these coming out like that again? I usually don't do that because I, I like how like the calls, ca cards fall, but I shuffle these and I don't know why it's like the same cards. There's a lot of, look at how many of these are in here. Soulmate, the blue moon, that's keeps wanting to come out too. Hold on. I mean, I'm not saying like, if that's what it's going to be, it's going to be, but let's just shuffle these one more time. Look how many those are. I mean... This could just be a continuous of my last reading. You know, I see you, I never get that one. And now all of a sudden, like, it's coming out again. Again, don't freak out. If, you know, maybe thinking that you might have I see you or something like that. Just, you know, just keep in mind, um, these are just general readings, okay? I don't want to panic anyone. Someone might have the letter M in their name, M, B, B, M, M, B, C, M, B, C, C, B, M, C, B, B, C, before Christ. So the initials M, be fearless and bold, M. Initials B, sing your own song, B, C, you're never alone. Two came out. Someone could be a lot, two and four. That's, I could see that. I am not quite, I don't really know a lot of life path number. I don't know life path number two. Let's see. Okay. Very empathic, quite quite giving in nature. Oh yeah, I'm two and six, duh. I'm a life path two and six. They're very empathic, quiet in nature, sensitive. So someone is born in February. Two, the month second March. Yeah, someone's born in February. With the otter spirit being out here, someone might have the initial M, B, C. Is that an N or a Z? No, this is an N. The initials N in their name. M, M keeps coming out. M again. M. Why do I have so many M's? M. M and M. There's a lot of M's. M, 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 B, C, 2, N. C N two C N two N M. Someone could be from New Mexico. M M M. There's like one. Mary, Matthew, Matt, Max. B might be Brad, Bradley, Brian, Brian. C could be Chris, Christy. Christian. Beth, Betty, Bethany, Mary, Maggie, Matthew, Matt. Nathaniel, Nate, Natty, Natalie, 
Nancy, Nick, Nicole, Calvin, Cal, with a C, Bob, <laughs> Bob, my be significant, Bob, Brad, 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 Brandy, Brandy, Maddie, Maddie, So I might have Kay, Kayla, Christy with a K. Carrie, Karen. Does Karen start with a K? Karen, Carrie. And K. H. E. Another B. Some of them have the initials A, Anne, Antoinette. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Antoinette. I had a cousin named Antoinette. Someone might be born on, fe on February 8th. They might be 28 years old. Or August 2nd. Or li this might be life path number two and life path number eight. I told you life path number eight are very ambitious people. Very ambitious. Someone might an or A N K, Ana An uh, Anaki Anaki. Isn't that Egypt? N A N K H Anaki or what is that? Is that a word? You know what I'm trying to say. The Egyptian thing, or A N K H, yeah, A N K H. Look, A. See, I'm not no dummy. A N K H. It's a key of life in an ancient Egyptian hieroglyph symbol. It uses to represent the word "it's life" by extension and the symbol of life itself. The anarchy is a T-shaped top with a droplet. Someone might use this word, this little you know symbol, um, amulet. Okay, it's a it's from Egyptian. You might have Egyptian blood, ancient Egyptian even, created in African long ago. It's called the key of life, the key of the Nile. Someone actually might go visit the Nile. That's pretty dope. You might use that symbol, and that's like a key of life. Someone has a key. Someone, uh... Someone's name might be Han, Hannah? H A H H A N and Kane C Kane C A C A N E Kane Kane that's a name right Kane Hank C H A N K Hank Bank something about it someone's bank someone could work at a bank B A N K about money Cake C A K E someone wanted their cake and ice cream too. Someone might have been doing too much with bank and cake. It's like money hungry, driven, power filling. Make a cake. M A K E, make a cake at a bank. Maybe if you work at a bank, someone might make you a cake. I don't know. <laughs> work with me here, people. Work with me. Ham. Someone could be like a ham, you know. Just a little ham. With a pig. It's like people look at you like, look at that ham. But you use your mind. You, the pig is very, a pig is smart. Pigs are fucking hella smart. Okay? Someone is witty. Someone is witty. Very smart. Bam. Somebody's going to go out with a bam. I don't even know. Bam. Jenna, come on. And man, there's a man. What other words do I see that on here? He, CB, T, 
two, B, C, two. So we got the initials M, B, double B. So I got like four M's out here. N, C, A, K, E, H, and someone could be born in 82. I also see that too, 82. Okie dokie, Spirit, thank you for that. Someone could have tried to bake a cake for you? I don't know. That works at a bank. Venus, love awakening. Venus retrograde. Someone has white hair. A female. And this person is um, something about Venus. Ven something that happened in uh, retrograde. Either now or the last one. Sim some people are worth melting for. Olaf, yeah. Seven, connecting with God. Awakening, intro, um, introspection, and the development of wisdom. So there's something like spiritual out here with life path number seven or um, with the B as well. Someone who has white hair. Someone could be born in July. This keeps coming out. 999, you're almost there. Angels are proud of you. How far you came. Someone might have a zinc deficiency. I've explained this before too. So if you have a spiritual awakening, you're, it's like, I, I stopped eating meat. It's so weird. And I don't know why. It's like things started tasting weird and smelling weird for me. But also you need to check into that because you can, might have a zinc deficiency as well. Because I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta have like, um, with spirituality, you can't get all crazy with it. You gotta... You gotta have like reality checks. You gotta be like, okay, this could be, I have a spiritual awakening or you know, I might also have a, I'm not saying you're not going through one, but you also might have a zinc deficiency. This is where like spiritualists or healers need a, it's like a fine line, you know, between, it's like, like I said, being a healer, um, I was very, I very, was very lucky to meet the Queen of Detta that I did when I was 16 because she was a prime example of what a healer should be. It's like she had some, you know, she worked with a cancer research place. She was like um, very intelligent medically wise, but also spiritual. You know, you just can't say, here, do this and that and you're going to be healed. You know, you have to say, you have to work with someone's doctor, counselor, therapist. You know what I mean? Especially when you're coming to something like this as a spirituality. Because you don't know if it's going to be a bunch of hoopla. You know, I hate to say it. Which way is the smoke leaning? Am I right? Spirit? To the right, yeah. 666. Six, six. You're very lucky because you, there's a devil in the mix. So consider yourself lucky. You might be Irish or have some Irish descent in your blood. Consider yourself lucky. There's, there's a, this is a male energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy. There was a devil. An antichrist. A person that was not speaking the truth on your name and an antichrist energy. Remember? This person embraces the in-between. They might say they believe in God, but they don't. Or they might say they are godly or of the healing aspect and they don't. They're in-between. They, they're, mm -mm. There's something about this. I don't know quite yet. But look, you are protected. Did you are protected the ham hamsa protection bringing um happy happy bringing happy peace prosperity as well protection from evil word around the neck to protect from spiritual protection do you know what ham this is you might even have a tattoo of that or the lotus mm -hmm. Wise and rise and rise, purity from the sludge of muddy water and blossom. Yeah, you you rise. Yeah, you are a lotus. Harmony, prosperity, rebirth, spiritual awakening. You went through a spiritual awakening, and you had someone of the devil that was trying to fuck this shit up for you. But you are protected here with seven and this um symbol right here and the uh the anarchy. The like I said, you might have Egyptian. Royal blood, Asian Egyptian royal blood, you are of the divine. 
Okay, if you go, if you've been reincarnation, reincarnated, you're an old soul, and you had someone in this antichrist energy that was not speaking the truth of you. This person is being forced to speak the truth of you. This is part of that. That's that divine feeling I'm getting, and you are protected because you came from the sludge of the mud and become into a beautiful lotus flower right here. Well, whoever this person with white hair is, or you might have white hair, take it as it resonate. They were doing this during just now. During the retrogrades, the, well, if they were if they were knew a lick of anything about spirituality or magic, they went, no, don't do shit during the retrograde. Because <laughs> this person's full of shit. I've never seen this card before. <laughs> yeah, memories. Be careful who you make your memories with. Full of shit. Wow, come on through, spirit. Someone was full of shit, and now this person has to speak the truth, nothing but the truth. Because if they want to walk in God's light, if they want God's blessings, they need to see the big picture and use their mind wisely now. Letter Z, someone has initial Z in their name, but this person is a fucking low life. I do cuss, by the way, a lot. Someone is born on the 23rd, 23, sunset. The rise. She was the sun the way she fell into the night, but managed to rise every morning brighter than before. Rising from the ashes. Like a phoenix energy here. Again. Wise and wise and rise. Whoa, that's crazy. Wise and rise. From the sludge of muddy water and blossom, a lotus. This is, represents harmony, prosperity, rebuke, spiritual awakening. She sunset the rise. You, she, you might have sun rising in your chart, whatever zodiac sign you are. She was the sun that the way that fell into the night, but managed to rise every morning brighter than before. You keep rising. You keep rising. This person was lying while you're going through a damn spiritual awakening because this person is a low life, low life, letter Z in their name. Okay. This person is just a fucking low life. They're full of shit. Made a bad bunch of bad memories either for you or the people or they're for themselves because they're in this anti-christ energy but you're lucky because you survived it you protect it because here you are almost there honey be proud your ancestors are okay because you went through the spiritual awakening and you melt people's hearts all right well you have love you went through a spiritual loving awakening white hair someone involved with white hair so this person better be fearless and bold. She better be ready to sing the song or he, because you're never alone. Embracing the in-between, taking a leap of faith, because you let spirit be your guide. You see the big picture, and you use your time and your mind wisely. Come on through, spirit. Knew it. It's like this person comes in my reading, and it's like they try to, man, don't be coming in my energy, and I'll be pull, I'll pull that motherfucking right back in here. It's like, that's why, like, if you notice in the beginning of the reading, I was like, it's like, you feeling, like, if you're empathic, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like someone trying to hide or something. It's like someone hiding or lurking or something feeling. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm, I've been doing this for too long already now where, no, nah, I know better. Come on through. If you want to know what's up with your reading, then cross watchers, then let's, let's, let's do it. Or let's do it, okay? The anarchy. I can't believe I even saw that. A N K H. You have the key of life. Shit. I see you as this goddess on a or uh, you know, prince or pharaoh or whatever on a on a boat on the Nile. Here, you are a royalty, blood royalty. Someone was doing into a spiritual awakening. This has to be another spiritualist, cause I I was. Why am I keep talking about healings or healers? A shaman? A shaman woman? Doing the most? Lying on your name? Lying? Not speaking the truth? Maybe just not even lying on you. This person just lies to people. They're living a lie. And it's coming out. It's coming out. A Sagittarius, a low vibrational Sagittarius. 
to a high vibrational air sign, I told you there's an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini on the upright. Witty. Use their minds wi wisely. Venus. Venus retrograde. You love yourself. They can't, they can't fuck with you, air signs. To the Capricorn. You're too smart, Capricorn. You know what the hell's going on. You're too... Capricorns, I, my dad's a Capricorn, and they're very logical. They're usually right. Just don't tell them I say that, okay? They're right most of the time. <laughs> Capricorns, don't get big-headed, you know? Uh, there's a little bit of complexity here, a little bit of challenges with the Neptune energy. To a low vibrational Scorpio. Saturn. Chaos. Bringing chaos in reverse. There's no order. Trying to bring chaos to an air sign. So you got a low vibrational Sagittarius and low vibrational Scorpio. To a low vibrational fire sign, that's that Sagittarius or a Leo or a Aries. But you, you love yourself. And here you are on the upright, Venus. You might be Venus, Venus rising. Air sign with Venus, Venus rising are very loving people. Capricorn, you're logical, you're rational, you're grounded with a water sign in your chart. You're very emotional too. You're with the water Capricorn. This is a this is a Capricorn that not only understands their emotions as well. To individuality, knowing who you are, being authentic. So there's an air sign and a Capricorn out here that know who the fuck they are and what they're doing. With the emotions out here, and you have a Sagittarius and a Scorpio that don't. Water signs as well. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces on the upright. Air sign on the upright. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or a Aquarius, Capricorn on the upright. Very loving. People, you're very complex though too. The Gemini on the bottom of the deck. Low vibrational Sagittarius and um, Scorpio though for sure. Come on through, Spirit. What is this reading, reading going to be about, Spirit? What's this? What's this? This, this Antichrist now needs to not speak in the truth. Not like, I don't know. What is this? I'm seeing my head. It's like, I wouldn't trust anyone that doesn't have God in their heart. People should use their intuition, use their mind wisely with this one. What is this? Who's, the, whose energy is in the back? Someone that can't build something from the ground up. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person is having a hard time getting their project off the ground, their, like, ideas off the ground. It's like, it's like they can't overcome this. It's so weird. It's like the Page of Pentacles in reverse is like working really hard and nothing happening. Maybe God is, or I don't know, maybe this is what they wanted for you. They wanted you, maybe you were trying to start a project and they were just kept knocking you down. But with the Lotus and the Hamas, uh, Ham Hamsa, and the Anna key or whatever energy, you have the key of life here. You are the lotus. You, you, you grow out of muddy water into a beautiful lotus. No one could ever put you in this energy. Take it, you, whatever you work, you work fucking hard. Lessons. You, but this person can't. There's, this isn't you. This is someone else. Someone can't get their project off the, their ground. like an idea or like a project, a work. They could have started a business and it's like, or something, and they, they can't get it off the ground. Five of Pentacles energy in reverse. They're stuck in this, and this is like, in reverse is like, that's not good. It's like, this person not only can't get nothing off the ground, their project, their ideas, their, something with money. It's a project. Someone was trying to make money off of something, and they can't do it. It's like they keep getting obstacles with the hangman in reverse. Hold on. Is this in reverse? Now they're, yeah, told you, reverse. Right back to center energy. This person, stopped, like, tried to sabotage you, creating obstacles in their own pathway, and now they're fucking stuck in it. 
with the five of pentacle energy in reverse now they're just losing losses 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 didn't want the resources didn't want to take the help didn't want to take the advice now they're like out left in the cold trying to get whatever this was off the ground now this is you collective this is whoever this hangman energy this is could be a pisces a taurus It's going right back to them. Look how they're stuck here. They can't get out of that tree now. See, at least here they could have. But now they're here. It's like this person could have sabotaged something that you were trying to get off the ground. Say if you, like, I, I don't know, like, I just use me as an example, like a tarot card, okay? I actually had another channel, by the way, the Gemini Line Gate. That's not me. This is my channel, okay? Um, Where... I had people, it was just so crazy. Like, I was trying to get, but this, the Page of Pentacles tells me it's like, it didn't get off the ground. I feel like mine is actually, is moving up a little bit, you know? Because I'm not in this Five of Pentacles energy, so that's just like a bad example to give. But like, is this someone trying to do this to the collective? Like, or now, no, this is someone that's sabotage, self-sabotage. No, this is someone that's self-sabotage themselves, right? Yeah. So say if you have a platform, okay, and someone else has a platform, they were so busy not seeing the big picture, not using their mind wisely in this anti-Christ energy, okay, lying, not being true, not being authentic, who they are, they just hung themselves here. They're stuck. They're fucked. Taking losses like a motherfucker. And now they can't get nothing off the ground. Everything they do is like, oh, no, it's not going to work. Okay, how about this idea? No, it didn't work either. Shit. But look at, well, the collective is... Da, 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 da. A lotus coming out of the mud and the sledge rising. It's like karma. That's what you get. Return back to sender. Come on through, spirit. Someone thought the grass is green on the other side. Because a betrayal has been revealed, a love relationship, lovers, Gemini energy. Someone, in, oh man. Whoever tried to sacrifice themselves or sacrifice you, they, they hung themselves. Plain and simple. And now they're out in the cold. People are leaving these, this person. People are, are, or people are getting sick or this means a mental illness. This person is disturbed and whatever project they have, the page of pentacle talks about a student learning something. Whatever this person was trying to start, it's not going to get off the ground with the page of pentacles in reverse. It's like, it's not because the hangman in reverse says they threw their own obstacles in their way, trying to throw obstacles in your way. This person just made it fucking harder on themselves. Now they're left out in the cold, plain and simple. Come on through. Yep. Cause they don't want to follow their heart desire. They didn't want to go in and apologize to you. They still don't in the future. Mm -mm. They're just like, they're okay. It's so fucking weird. Who would be okay with this energy? Instead of going in and apologizing and speaking the truth, this person would rather be stuck. This is not good. The hangman in reverse, I feel like the hangman in reverse is worse than getting the death card or the tower. Out of the tarot decks. No lie. Because energetically, it's talking about returning, returning. Everything that this person threw out, any negative, because it talks about not gaining a new perspective, right? Being very narrow-minded, being very close minding okay? So it's like this, God is like, suspend this person and say, all right, motherfucker. Okay. You don't want to stop. You don't want You're so focused about trying to get you, your own project or you're so focused at trying to stop someone getting their project off the ground when you should have been worrying about yourself, basically, type of energy. You should have been worried about your fucking self. Okay, so let me just suspend you from this tree. Now you're going to be stuck here. Not get, This person is like uh, mentally stunt, stunted. Maybe a mental disorder. It's like there's no growth here. It's like... They're, they're, uh, stuck just taking losses and they're good with it with the night, uh, 
the, yeah, the, the night of uh, Cubs and Rivers, like, they don't want to apologize. They're not apologetic. They don't want, they're not following their heart desire to do what the fuck right, what's right and wrong. Come on through. But the law, or a king of swords has a, a bird eye view, so you're going to be getting some type of message, and this person's going to be defeated. King of Cups, going into the sun energy, Leo, and someone's trapped in jail, or mentally trapped. I said... I told you, I told you, this person doesn't regret a fucking thing. This is sad. This is like arrogancy. This is arrogant. Arrogant. Or maybe someone is changing their mind here in the future. I don't know. Maybe they're losing some type of thought process of what the fuck is really going on. I, I can't even tell you, Collective. This person is, like, arrogant. I don't like this energy. This person is, like, I'm cool taking losses. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Are you? Are you real okay that you're just uh, living a lie? Uh, this is why God's not going to let your project get off the ground. Not until you start walking in your truth. Getting out of this 666 energy, this Antichrist energy. Stop coming after the Collective. Stop coming after people that are going through the spiritual awakenings because you can't have one. This is what this is telling me. Someone's pissed off because you actually had one and they can't. Well, you know why you can't? Because you're anti-Christ energy. You're lying about something. You're not being true. This for, or this could have been like someone didn't want you to get something off the ground so they left you out in the cold. But now this person's stuck, not wanting to apologize, not feeling regretful. This is ridiculous. All in reversal. This person is fucking ridiculous. Someone could be born on the 13th, Friday. The Good work. On your way. Nice. This person's ridiculous. I forgive you. Way to go. Keep going. All this person had to do is say sorry to you. And they could have get their project off the ground, but they don't want to. Whoever this female is, or this was you, maybe you forgive this person. I don't know. Yes, I know. Someone 999, you're almost there. You're almost there, Collective. Keep going, because this person is stuck. This person is like, it's just sad. It's sad. I feel bad for this. Someone could be 40 years old. Think I'll miss you forever. Like the star misses the sun, the morning sky, summertime sadness. Someone was doing something in the summertime. A female was, perhaps, or a summertime love. You have a summertime love. If that resonates, that could bring something. You on fire. Light that guys you home. Initiate your bones. And I will try to fix you. Yeah. Someone is stuck burning? Someone sees that you're on fire? 666 energy. Antichrist. They don't like it that you're like it. This could be a Leo. No offense, Leos. And don't, don't take this zodiac sign so literally, but... Oh, man, this person keeps going... I don't know. It's like in and out. Young. Someone, a young male or a young person, wanted to be the queen bee. But don't... This is why this person doesn't want to apologize to you, because they're a queen bitch. Masculine and feminine... I don't know if this is... I can't tell you, collective, right now. She's, if it's a female, she's very dominant, she's very aggressive, she's very overbearing, she's kind of pulling back, I don't know what the fuck is her, but ego, it's, oh my god, I've never seen this, ego driven, ego driven, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Earth sign, I never get this card, ever, so there could also be a, a, an Earth sign here, or you're an Earth sign, because the, the Capricorn was on the upright, and this earth sign is actually, I like if this, I like this energy at least. Um, with the five of cups is actually in reverse is a good thing. It's like someone that is stopped, they're, they're getting over something. They're, they're losing a, they're starting to see the two cups behind them. A Capricorn is perhaps. Okay. Because they were ego driven before. Someone's driven by ego. 
wanting to be the queen bee in the situation. Letter T can be significant. This person is a male that has a psychic abilities. Someone could have facial hair, a man with facial hair. You have more love inside yourself than you think. Okay? You could be the queen bee. Someone is a young male or someone's younger than this person has a young heart. Blue also talks about truth out here. Someone has to tell the truth. Someone has to tell the truth. Plain and simple. Like, there's no going about this. Someone needs to start talking the truth about something. Because they're stuck. And I feel like once they do, then this, they can get out of this Page of Pentacles energy. Again, someone sees that they missed an opportunity and now they're enthusiastic about something. It's like, to the, they're trying to get something off the ground. Okay. Four of Cups in Reverse talks about jealousy, though. Someone was jealous of you. So they didn't want you to get your project off the ground. Stagnation. Experiencing a work lately. Yes, it's like... It's like you, in the past, it's like you couldn't get anything off the ground. It was a lot of stagnation. But now you're reflecting on this. It's like, you could be like, why can't I not get this off the ground? Or someone is wondering now why they can't get their project off the ground. Aquarian. Someone's just sitting in their sadness, preparing for a new beginning. They couldn't get something off the ground. It's like this energy of like, they can't get whatever. It's like this person is working hard for nothing. <laughs> Not learning a lesson. Okay. And now they're just sitting in it, reflecting. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Why? 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 It's like, okay, why is this not working? But I feel like they're blaming you. They're blaming you for it. Like, I don't know why. Okay, because this person is in bad health. Because you know who you are. Okay, six, seven. You're in a relationship with this person, or this has to do with a relationship. Okay? I'll get, I don't care if this reading will take three hours long. I will get this out. So whoever this energy is in the back, like you don't think I can feel it or you don't think that you're going to come out in this reading, you will come out in this reading. Okay? You're not hidden. I don't care if you're on the other side of the world doing your little witchy shit. You will get in this reading because I don't know what is going on here. It's like an energy like coming in and out. An ex-lover. Someone is breaking up. Someone is not attracted to someone. Someone's not healed. Someone made a bad choice. Someone got left out in the cold. A lover did. Because they can't get... It's like, this person missed an opportunity maybe with another lover. Okay? And they just, they just, after they left, whoever that was, they, they, maybe they left you, left you out in the cold, left you for another lover. It was a karmic. It's not a good relationship. There's a lot of fighting. They're taking losses. They're not well. They're not mentally well. With the six being in the red, again, not mentally well while well, you were healing yourself. It's like, fuck this person. 12 secrets a lot of secrets this person could have went to an ex-lover they felt like leaving you this is for some of you guys because they felt like they couldn't get nothing off the ground they were like gonna miss some opportunity okay so they wanted a new beginning but since last week or something, it's like they've been taking losses. They're in this five of pentacles energy where they, they didn't want to get the resources. Someone's left out in the cold, either your past person, because this is an ex-lover. For sure, the lovers in reverse, a Gemini energy. 
someone that's not healed, someone, I don't know. I don't care, like I said, I don't give a fuck if this I, reading takes three hours. I will get this, collective, I will get this for you, okay? Don't even tell me, karma, 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 karma. This person is stuck in a fucking cycle with an ex lover, a bad one too, with the five of pentacles. This person is taking losses. This person is not doing well at all. He, this person could have left someone else in the cold because they can't get anything off the ground. They are working hard for nothing. This person is like running around trying to make money and they can't do it. They're running around trying to get ideas and they can't do it. Whatever they, whatever new project they get, it just won't, it won't happen for them. Because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. But they, they, they figured if they left this person, they, but look, the world and the hangman in reverse, like how much can I say about it? They're stuck in karma. They're stuck in a cycle that's like never going to end until they gain a better perspective, until they fucking apologize to you. Man, this person is so ego driven. It's not even funny. It's not fulfilling. It's not, it's like this person is stuck with a lover that they fight with, they don't like. It's not fulfilling. It's not satisfying. Hold on, I gotta train. It's uncomfortable. Someone's ever, yeah, resisting the change. Halfway between the world. I didn't know that. The hangman is halfway between the world. Okay. Someone is in, in between something. Because remember we got Brace in between? Someone is stuck in the middle of a situation between lovers. Time to let go. What says lovers and the five pentacles? Someone made a bad choice between lovers. Take a leap of faith. They really thought this was going to be something and it just didn't, it just ended up not being what they thought it was going to be. This is Page of Pentacles. Be, bring a gentle touch. A Gemini energy. A deer. All they had to do is bring a gentle touch to the situation. And they could have got this Page of Pentacles going. It's like they really, really tried hard here. But they they didn't want to learn lessons. God, with the four cups in reverse, the lovers in reverse, the five Pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse, the hangman in reverse, this person is re refusing to change. Resisting, 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 resisting energy. This is why I can't pull this person's, it's like hard to pull this person's energy. There's like, they're watching, but they're resisting. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. It's like, why are you, this is why you can't get nothing off the ground. This is why you can't get shit going for you. But they don't want to apologize, collective. Mm-mm. They owe you an apology. This is a, an over, this is a, a delay apology and they still don't want to apologize to you. Nine of Wands. Someone overcame an obstacle. They're a wounded soldier. Someone is like on their last leg here and they're reaping what they sow. This person is just losing, losing, losing. Like, there's someone that feels like they could overcome this obstacle in the future. And this is why they don't want to come in and apologize. They have this, like, resisting, that resilient energy. Like, I could just make it. I don't need to apologize. I'm still not going to work hard at anything in life. Anything. So, good for you. So what? The Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. is like, this person is refusing God, it's so annoying. My ear's itching. 
God, this person is fucking annoying. Ooh, you're a white raven. Trust in the magic. This person could be using magic on you. 6-6. Six, six. Again, 66. 6 Come on through, spirit. There is a male with facial hair and there is a, a female that have white hair. And someone took a leap of faith to do what? Just to be stuck in a cycle, something? They're not achieving anything with this world and the hangman. They're not. They gotta let go. It's like they can't let go of something. Now in the future, they're, they're getting over something. They're trying to let go of a mindset. They're trying to, they're, whoever, you claim your independence with this individual. You got away with the five of cups in reverse. You got away from this person. You really did. And this person is pissed. I don't think this person's happy about it. I feel like they're not happy about it because they're stuck in a cycle with a lover, a lover that they don't even like. They don't like this person at all. I told you, you got away. Six of wands, you get to walk away. Okay. Even though this person has been hanging on to your fucking energy. Like, I don't know why. I don't get it. It's like they wanted a new beginning. These are like, uh, there's like too many people. Hold on. Okay. There's a situation for some of you guys where you had an ex-lover that left you, made a bad choice with another lover, okay? They're stuck in this karmic cycle of love, okay? They really thought this was going to bring, like, a new opportunity, okay? They kept trying to get something off the ground, maybe the relationship itself, but it wouldn't go anywhere, okay? Um, they don't want to apologize, okay? They really feel like they can overcome all this stuff. Um, they really feel like in the future, they're going to get off away scot-free too. Okay. But there's another situation here. There's another person, maybe their lover didn't want you to get whatever you were doing, your work, your projects or whatever off the ground. Okay. They didn't want to see you have a new beginning. It's so weird. I don't understand. Ooh, Sunny scared me. Um... Honey. Um, it's like there's too many people out here for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna change it, sweetheart. Come on. You need to go back to bed, honey. I'll put the care bears on, okay? This is going to be like the longest reading of my life. I already know it. I'm so sorry, collective. I am a single mom. If you get it, you get it. But listen, I understand. <laughs> you don't want to go through it. This is like, I, there's so much energy back. I want to pull on that person. It's like, of course your ex-lover is out here. Of course. But there's something else. Because the 12th house is out here too. There's something else. I mm, uh. This person is like hiding trying to get away 
trying to get away. What is what is something we can't see, Spirit? What's the, what we cannot see about this? Okay, here she is, and uh, this is a woman of um, that overspends money, overdoes everything. The Nine of Pentacles. This person isn't single to give you a hint, cause they're like there's somebody in the mix that's like you can't see this person, but they're doing something in the mix, because they can't get their project off the ground. It's like I don't know, maybe they have something to do with your lover situation. I don't know. Because the Seven of Pentacles, I always think it was that's like my bribery card. Someone could have paid your ex-lover to, to leave you. Thinking that you wouldn't overcome this obstacle. Saying, even paying your ex-lover not to even apologize to you. That's for some of you guys. That's crazy. I want to see if the High Priestess comes in reverse. Let's see. This person made a bad choice that they clearly see with the two of swords in reverse what's hidden from you is this nine of pentacles woman i don't know why maybe she's a secret lover she sold somebody a dream there's a lot of money being lost here Someone sees that they made a bad choice with this person. They knew it, but it's like they stayed with this person. So you have someone that thought they were going to have a new beginning, but they couldn't get it off the ground to what you can't see is because some other woman who he got with, because this person's not single, this person overspent all their money, overdid it, overindulged. This person is like a fake. Like she acts like she has money or she acts like she's of high status, kind of like a snobby energy. Um, someone sees that they made a bad choice with this individual. Person, place, or thing, okay? Um, the blindfolds are down. They're stuck in this decision. They see that they made this wrong decision. Six, seven, eight. This has to do with like a rebirth. Like trying to get something off the ground. This person made a bad choice with this. Someone sold them a dream. I feel like someone went and bribed somebody and said, if you did this, thinking that they wouldn't get your project off the ground, thinking that you would miss an opportunity, that's something coming through like that. That's crazy. This woman's a liar. Who is this Nine of Pentacles energy? Who is this person? I don't know who this person is. It could be a Gemini. Someone needs a Care Bear in their life. <laughs> Liar. Antichrist energy. Who is this individual? A low vibrational Gemini. I told you. This is a low vibrational Gemini. It's like... She sold somebody a dream. She spent money that wasn't like hers. It's like she overdid it. And she made a bad choice doing this. And I don't think she even gives a fuck. Like, she don't care. She don't care. Like, so she don't care. She's just like, it is what it is. And this is why she's stuck in losing more pentacles. Someone also left this individual out in the cold. Okay, that other energy is gone. So let's just focus on this relationship thing. Yeah, someone that you broke up with because they thought they were going to be victorious in another situation. That energy just, I can't, it's, they're gone. They probably got tired of watching my video because it's been so long. It's a long video. I'm sorry, collective. What is hidden from us? What's hidden from us? Someone um, trying to not be bound because like, it's not a give and take. Ooh, a betrayal. A betrayal is hidden with someone that's not a giver, someone that doesn't have the gift, someone that's like an, is a very selfish individual. This person is trying to not be stuck in the situation. They're trying to release this devil energy right here. 
they thought they were not bound. They thought this was like a, they thought by not breadcrumbing you, betraying you, breadcrumbing you was like not a toxic thing. It's like they thought it was like, this is Capricorn energy, Capricorn. Not being bound, not being bound to a situation, losing toxicity, overcoming an addiction. It's like someone probably thought just because they overcome an addiction that they could like not breadcrumb you or you overcame an addiction and this person started breadcrumbing you and they betrayed you. Man, they left you for dead here. Thinking that they were going to do something big with this, with this and Gemini energy. Making bad decisions, clearly seeing that they make bad decisions. You don't know this. It's like, yeah, because this person broke up with you. This person could have left you out for cold. Now they're leaving someone else out in the cold or they're left out in the cold. This is a betrayal of someone breadcrumbing you. I'm telling you right now, someone paid someone to do, like, you could have been with a piece of shit that got, yeah, I hear Leo energy, strength. But you overcame it with the nine of pentacles, with the nine of wands. You're protected. Someone sold somebody a dream. They overspend money. They made a bad choice that they saw right away. So it was, they were trying to lose something, like uh, trying to release toxicity by not by a gift, a gift by not getting a gift. A betrayal that you showed immense strength here you started king of pentacles here uh, a, a gold digger a man that is not a good businessman a man that can't hold on to money what is this this is giving me a headache stingy but you called it out with the yeah, hangman energy in reverse again. <sighs> There's a lot. Now this other person wants to come. Okay. There's a lot here. I don't know who this other person is, but she needs to get, or he needs to get on my reading because it's like there's a someone. I don't know. Someone's very interested in what the hell this reading is about. But it's like, they have really nothing to do with it. It's like, this isn't even their reading. This has to do with a love relationship. Okay, for sure. Um, someone is stuck with a karmic lover. They didn't get the gift. They're breadcrumbing people. What you don't see is that with the, the like someone's penny pitching, someone's selfish, someone's hanging on to some type of money. But the Queen of Swords here, this is why you are this in this Queen of Swords energy. You could also be an air sign. It's like this, it's like you might have the same air sign as this ex lover or your lover type of deal. But you here you are being honest and still being holding some type of integrity because you you might have also Leo in your chart, but you're very strong, Queen of Swords. You you had you became defensive, okay? You you through this whole situation, you held on very strong and very you held on to your integrity because whoever this King of Pentacles is, this um this gold digger male or an absent father and not a good father, someone that is not good with money and not a good businessman, a true businessman. Um, who's this king of pentacles? Or possibly it could be a king of pentacles. An Aries? Or someone attached to this? An Aries? Uh, a Vertigo? to Sagittarius. This person had money. Someone sold somebody a dream to make a bad choice. They thought they were not going to be toxic but breadcrumbing you, but that was an ultimate betrayal. 
this king of pentacles, this bad father, this bad businessman is very stingy. Now this person is penny pinching and you just kept up with your integrity and you held on to your honor by being very strong Why all this is being returned to them. It's like these people are not resisting a, a change. They're like not gaining a perspective. It's like this feeling of, um, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here. Thank you, spirit. They can't accomplish anything. They can't. With the world in reverse, they can't accomplish it. They just can't. They're stuck in a karmic cycle. They're stuck in karma. Because you overcame, you're, you don't know about a betrayal. You don't. That's, this was a secret. This is why the 12th house is someone really betrayed you. Because I feel like, honestly, someone bribed your ex-lover to, like, basically treat you like shit. Basically treat you like you weren't a gift. Like, I can't get this out of my mind. This is the betrayal. Someone, like, this is what's really coming out. Is your ex-lover and maybe their partner, they paid your person that ended up leaving you still. This is crazy. Someone bribed someone out here. To leave you out in the cold. To breadcrumb you. That is the secret. That's the betrayal. And now no one wants to apologize to you about this situation. What's the next step? Let's end this reading. Because this is just ridiculous. I don't know. A group of friends? People that celebrated too soon? Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. A group of friends? We're, yeah. A group of friends that do what? What about this group of friends? That were working very hard. Planting seeds around town. Or you're the next, yeah, but look, they lost this inheritance. I knew it. To the five pentacles, the seven pentacles, and the ten pentacles. These people, and the six pentacles. God damn, these people cannot make money. <laughs> all they did was work really hard just to lose. This is all I'm seeing. They're working very hard just to lose. This group of friends, ex-lover, because a coward. Now, now you got a Leo in reverse. A uh, Leo that wanted to bully you, thought that battle wasn't over. It's like this feeling of like, man, you. It's like you lost, but this person was like, nah, we still need to. We still need to take from the collective. We still need to do this. This person is ridiculous. This person is out of control. This bully energy. This Leo. This coward. This person's a fucking coward, and this is why they lost it over an inheritance. But the truth is coming out. The truth is here. God is like, no, 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 no. Because here you are, the Queen of Swords, speaking the truth behind the scenes. And it's like, all of a sudden, these people are like holding on to things, trying to penny pinch, trying to hang on to their money. Breadcrumbing people, breadcrumbing you, breadcrumbing whatever the situation, because they lost this Ten of Pentacles, they will lose this Ten of Pentacles because they were being stingy. Penny pinching, being selfish. The truth is that whoever was being stingy and selfish, page of swords in reverse, these people are liars. These people lie. These people gossip about you distracting other people that they were losing out trying to work really hard with a group of friends all these group of friends did was lose an inheritance spend it all with the nine of pentacles or they spend it all because they're a bunch of cowards to uh bullying you out of the truth trying to bully you out of the truth because they're stingy these people are resisting there's a lot of resisting energy out here and all these people could do is just talk shit lie gossip stalk you because they're stuck in hangman and karma hangman in reverse hangman in reverse everything that they send out to you is going right back to them this is why they're taking losses they it's like they lost a gift they lost an inheritance all they did was work super 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 hard 
just to lose here, trying to bully, cowardly bully you. But the truth is revealed about them stalking you and how stingy they were with you, whoever this selfish person is. Someone does, they can't do this anymore. It's just too much for them with the Ten of Wands in reverse. They want to release some type of burden. Going back to the beginning, someone's going to sing a tune. Someone's blowing the whistle. And Aquarius, now luck is on your side. The wool has turned. Luck is on your side. Because you're, look, and something's being investigated. Vertigo energy. The light will be shown an investigator. The this vertigo is an investigator. This Herman's an investigator. So don't worry. Luck is on your side. The truth will come out about these people stalking you. Like doing the most. Look, you got a new beginning collective. And you will be victorious in this beginning. And these people are very confused how this all happened. Group of friends. Because again, they lost. <laughs> From the beginning of the three, these people, they lost this money opportunity to do something with it. And all they did is like, it's like debt here. It's like spending money that they didn't have, thinking that they're going to get this inheritance, thinking that they're going to get this money. But with the hangman energy, is telling me this is being returned back to you. This is why you're going to have a new beginning and you're going to be victorious in it. Or someone was foolish, delusional. About being, uh, but some, yeah, committed a message of money. Someone's going to come in finally to give you a message about money because they feel very uneasy about this whole situation. They feel un like unhealed. They, they don't want to walk away. They regret walking away from you or they don't want to walk away from you or from the situation because they want a new beginning with you. Okay, so now if someone wants a new beginning with you, a king of cups does. They don't want to end it with you. They don't, these people don't want to end things or they don't want this. Yeah. Because they see they made about a choice about you, Empress. What's going to happen to this 10 of Pentacles in reverse? What's going to happen to this 10 of Pentacles in reverse? This King of Pentacles in reverse lost his inheritance. So now they're just, hold on. Yeah, so now they have no forward movement. They're stuck. This person is stuck losing out. I feel like this person is going to lose out for life. And until they apologize to you, they're not going to they're not going to win. Gemini energy. They're going to feel nothing but anxiety and fearful thinking about this all night long. Yeah. Thinking about memories about how they should have partnered up with you. But here you are achieving things. I better go. All right, Brian. Here are you accomplishing everything. The world, again, these people are just going through major breakups, major betrayals. Well, you have your happy ending. Okay, honey, I'm going. Okay. Go, go lay down. And I'm gonna go lay down with you. Okay, I'll lay down with you until you go to bed, okay? All right, collective, I know that was a long reading. I hope those messages help. Only take what resonates. I don't know who that other person was in the back, but they, they left. <sighs> Probably thought my reading was too damn long. <laughs> Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a reading here in a little bit. Let me just meditate. Because I feel like there's something else out here. But look, you still get your happy ending. It's like all I'm getting is that these people work really hard to accomplish nothing. That's basically what the reading is about. Because they didn't want to change. And now you got someone that's regretting not partnering up with you in the past. Because here you are, the Empress. To the Queen of Swords, it's like you're an Empress that will cut a motherfucker out. Alright, I hope that reading helped. Bye!